Yeehaw! Howdy, boys! Today we've got something amazing that we buy in the Rose Caravan. It's the Itasca Horizon 40TD. 40 being 40 foot in length. I mean, just look at the size of it. It's, it, it's unreal. It's on an 8.3 litre, 400 brake horsepower engine. The Cummings engine, for those who know anything Yank. And it's just a beast. Look at the size of it. Paintwork is incredible. We've got a slide out on this side, electric awnings. We've got heated bus mirrors, 360 cameras. We've got storage all over the shop. You've got your ladder extension for the rear. More down here, which is the electrics and the inverter. And then we have the city waste in this. So it's all push button. You don't have to start emptying things out, getting water containers and so on. Four ledger batteries. Now this does come with a generator as well on board. So you just press the button, it starts up and just charges everything, gets everything going, which I'll show you more about inside. Let's go and show you the back. Now all the way up there, you've got a reversing camera. It's a Sony one as well. I don't think I've seen one of them before. Tow bar, it just looks brilliant from the back. It really does. Lighting, big chrome exhaust, everything. And look at that reg bus pretty much sums it up well. On the other side, it is a twin slide out, so you've got to slide out on this side as well. Awnings, yeah, really nice big wheels. We've got a bit of storage there. We've got even more storage here and storage and more storage. I mean, that's a big old bit of storage down there, to be fair. That is a big old bit of storage. So continuing on, we have another, let me remember which one it is, it's this one here, this we want, the one we want. Obviously we've had a bit of nice weather, not like you do in America. You want to push that out of the way, turn your TV out and you're watching TV under the electric awning. Just to give you an idea, back in 2007 this was north of $300,000. Would this be a million pound motorhome today? So only one entry door to this. You've got keypad entry in case you want to do that, which is very a lot more common over in America than it is over here. Don't know why, but there we go. So nice grab handle here. And then we have the one and only entry door with the double steps that drop down into this home from home. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps to get into this piece. And as you can see, it's really well laid out and really big. Just behind the passenger seat, we have all the controls for the motorhome, including the, the air conditioning, the water and everything like that. As you first enter on the left hand side, you've got buttons for the lights, the door locks, the awnings, the entry steps, the battery leveling and across to the seat, you do have a electric driver and passenger seats as well. Starting with the front two seats, these are just proper luxury. Here we've got a lot going on. We've got the camera screen, we've got the CD radio player, we've got the power locks with the doors, we've got the generator, the TV. Oh, let's keep going. Cab air conditioning, quite like in this drawer below. That is for your automatic self-leveling. In this one, you've got your slide out for the driver's side, the near side, the left side, whichever you want to call it. Just keep it focus on down here very quickly. Depending on how short or tall you are, you adjust the pedals accordingly. Very, very clever. Really nice, stylish dials at the front here, just to turn them on very quickly. While, as you see this, it will make a bit of a noise. But it all really nicely lights up. Freight liner, everything comes on. Serial controls for your wipers, for your headlights, for your Air horn, look at that. And then we've got everything like engine brake. Oh, just everything. It is different here. You have got gear select, and then we've got the heated mirrors, electric windows, and as you look up, you'll see your electric sun visors. Next up, we have the kitchen. Now, when was the last time you saw a double fridge in a motor own kitchen and it's really nice really big really clean again great for living in there's nothing more you need than that perfect 
on the opposite side, I mean, just look at the width here. I mean, that's probably getting off six foot wide. So lots of space in the kitchen. I like lots of space in the kitchen because I'd make a mess everywhere. Uh, we've got lots of drawers, we've got slide out little tables that come out like this. We have then got, which comes out in pots, the hobs, which hide away quite nicely. Again, if you've been to America before, you'll know that they have nice big microwaves over there and you don't get big, much bigger than that. Nice cupboard above for your glasses. And what I do like about this, if you can quite see, is for your wine glasses quite clearly because you can see where you, where you tip them upside down and slide them in. Right, next. Lots more drawers, lots of storage. Now this is a bit stiff, but that is your wish dosher. Again, perfect size for this sort of motor home. Lots more drawers. Oh, we keep going. This one has had 240 volt sockets put in, but they are obviously the American stand, uh, standard. Then we've got a nice sink. We've got a hose um, for the tap. Water filter tap as well. And then we've got a nice big stainless steel sink just to finish it all off. In terms of storage, there is lots above the cab and you'll find really nice, neat little things in the kitchen like these, which you do see in the nice new kitchens of today. So it's effectively a spice round, but you've got two levels of it, just under six foot in height. The living area, which as you can see, nice and wide because you've got the double uh, slide outs as the space. Start off with the dining area is that the best way to put it dining area yeah so we've got four table sorry four chairs that go around a table again lots more storage above and then if you've ever seen friends where joey sits on the sofa and he goes ah i could just leave me with it for a bit no one else says this look at that tv over there i put that on it's got a satellite dome on top so you're just going to be able to watch it all day long and these are really comfy chairs. Really, really comfy. Same with the sofa that sat opposite. That does turn into a double bed. So it is a four berth motorhome, but with two belted seats only. I'm enjoying that far too much. You've even got your cup holders. It feels like you're, it feels like you're just at the cinema. And then do we go left or right? Because this is an island bathroom. Let's go right. In the bathroom, as you can see, I mean, you've got all space for soaps and makeup and everything that you need. Not that I wear makeup, don't comment. Uh, we've got a soap dispenser on the left hand side, which you can fill up. Storage, you've got your mirror buttons for your makeup. You've also got the taps. Really, I think these are really nice taps, really nice black, matte black taps. Is that the best way to put it, I think? I reckon so. Again, so much storage below. And then on the opposite side, we have this toilet opposite. Now, something I quite like about this, it's got a foot pump to flush the, the toilet. And it is ceramic as well, so it is like your toilets at home. It's not the plastic that you get in the normal motor homes. Oh, 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 oh. I'm pretty confident these are porcelain tiles. You can even feel the grout in between them. I mean, you can see where I it's nearly 16 ton when you've got porcelain tiles and grout on the floor. Again, just quality, 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 quality. And then on the opposite side, we do have this shower. And as you can see, when you wake up in the morning a little bit drunk, a little bit sorry for yourself, you can sit down and just shower yourself for days on end. Then going into the, the master suite, the bedroom, as you can see, it is a side facing island bed. So open this window up next to me and you can see all the views of where you parked up at the Grand Canyon. Storage above all around. Now something I want to show you whilst I'm comfortably sat here. Shows how lazy I am when I want to do the washing. Is that there? You can just quickly open up, fold there, and you're all sat down all the way. Again, you can see where the 16 ton of this motor comes come through when you've got things like a washing machine on board and that'll all be led by the generator as well again brilliant 
That's something I want to point out at the back. You've got nice mirrors. Lots of storage in the wardrobe. You've got like a shoe shelf to the left as well, if that's what you want it to be. Got the space for hangers up top. Again, storage is unbelievable. TV, DVD player to the left, which will link to your TV. Also in the bedroom at the rear, we do have the passenger side or the right side of the offside sliding uh, controls for the slide out. Now what I really like about this side is it's curved. I don't know if you can see this on the wall, it curves around and that's to suit the slide out. Now this uh, storage is only accessed when you have got the slide out out out. And again, it's just lots more wardrobe space. Plenty of wardrobe space. There's so much wardrobe space and cupboards and everything like that, drawers, everything you need in this RV. So overall, it's just a monster. Like I said, is it a million pound motorhome today? I bet it's heading towards that if you order in a new one because in terms of inflation and everything like that, in 2007, this was over $300,000. Beautifully done, really high quality, air suspension, self-leveling, everything like that. Let us know what you think. Please do comment below. We shall see you soon.